Hey, what's up guys? It's Swish Benoit from 24-7 Sim Gaming, and today I want to show you how to get back into your Red Dead Redemption 2 after patch 1436.31. So, as always, let's start the sim. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this going really quickly here. So if you are like me and you're running a modded Red Dead Redemption 2, you've been having trouble getting into your game after the latest patch. So we have a few things we need to do here to quickly get inside of it. So first, let's just go ahead and delete our redistributables. If you have already uploaded excuse me if you've already downloaded the new update so let's just quickly go here to open our browser inside let's go ahead and open our browser inside our game so we want to go to our c drive we're going to locate program files x86 from there we're going to locate rockstar games social club and then you're gonna click uninstall RGSC redistributable. And this is gonna remove your Rockstar launcher completely. Once you've done that, it may ask you to restart. If it does, just go ahead and restart it, no big deal. So once we've done that, we've got a few things we need to grab here. So let's go ahead and open up our browser and we're gonna to go to nexusmods.com. And let's hit the search, click games, and we're gonna click, we're gonna type in Red Dead, real simple. Spell it correctly, there we are. Okay, so once we're in here, as soon as you hear the very first page, you're gonna see script hook RDR2 version two. Now, if you are someone who does not use Lenny's Mod Loader, this is going to be the fix for you. And what you need to do here is simply just go ahead and click Files. Make sure you have a Nexus Mods account, of course, and click Manual Download, Slow Download, and that's gonna start downloading. And this is a new version of Script Hook. So what we wanna do is make sure inside of our game directory that we do not have a version DLL. So let's locate our main game directory. It's gonna be under your Steam apps. So let's just go ahead and locate it from the top. It's in my D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And I have a version DLL in here because I use Linux Mod Loader. So just make sure you don't have that inside of there. And what you are going to want to look for is the script hook rd2.dll. You should have one in there previously. And once you've located those two files, let's just quickly go back here, open our browser. And we have this open again. We're just gonna simply drag and drop this file. So go ahead and open your download folder, get your script hook, open the new version, and you're gonna simply drag it into your open area. It's gonna give you a replace, and you're gonna go ahead and replace that file. Wait, skip it. And we have a second fix. So this is for anyone who is actually using Lenny's Mod Loader. We want to go ahead and let's get back to... Let's get back to our... <coughs> let's get back to our browser here. So we're going to go back to Google. Inside of Google, we're going to type in script hook rdr2 script hook rdr2 it's going to take you to the dev c page and we're going to want that link right there the download at the bottom this is going to be your version 143625 from july 19th that's what we need 
And this is going to, like I said before, help us stay with our Linux mod loader. So now that we have that, this is just to make sure we're gonna download it. And it may bring you back through these pages. So just go through it again. Click script hook RDR2 is released. Script hook again, then download here and it'll pop right up. So let's just go ahead and open that. Close this down and make sure you have a WinRAR or something of that sort so you can open up these folders. And we're gonna click bin. So inside of here, you'll see the dinput.dll and script hook RDR2. Now, for the people who are using Lenny's Mod Loader, you wanna make sure you have this script hook RDR2 version and this dinput8 DLL version from this particular script hook update from June, November or whatever it was. So let's go ahead and open up our game directory again. I have it shortcutted, so we'll just get there quickly. You wanna click both of these, drag them over. I'm gonna skip them, because I already have them installed. And from there, this is all you need to do. So make sure you open up your Rockstar Games launcher and when you do that, it's going to give you a synchronization saying that you need to sync for the first time. Mine's not going to say that because I've already done it. And when you're here, once you've done that, you want to close it down and completely close the Rockstar Launcher. Now we're going to go, and I have a link below for this file. We need to go and download the original EXE from the previous version. So you have the Google Drive link in my comments below. Click that link, click download, you'll get the link. And you simply just want to replace the EXE. So let me open that up here. And let's pull it over. And we'll drag that in, copy it over. You'll hit replace. Once you have that replaced, we'll close that down. Make sure you have everything closed down, including your Rockstar Launcher. Close it down from the Task Manager. Close Steam down from the Task Manager. Everything, make sure it's all closed. And then from there, we open up our Rockstar Launcher again. And let's have a look inside of here. All right, so now that this is open, we're simply going to click play on Steam. Now Steam has opened up, hopefully for the first time. I may need to close Steam okay. down again. And as this is loading, we're gonna wait for the three beeps. And I have a mod that has the low screens turned off, but you'll hear the three beeps and I'll show you back into the game. With my mods from Lenny's Mod Loader and everything working properly. There are my three beeps. And there we are, loading on up. So as you see, I am working. We're in the game. I'll give it another second here so you can just see it open. As you see, we got the loading bar there. And we are inside. So as you see, we are good to go. Red Dead is now running. I know that was a little bit of a long one, but that's it for this one. So if you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications for all the fixes for all your favorite sim games. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.